Hey guys, it's Danielle with Dean Made Crochet. Thanks for coming back to my channel. So today we're gonna to talk about starting out projects in the round. So there's two basic ways to do this. The first way being to create a circle with your chains. And then the second way is called the magic knot or the magic ring or the magic circle. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I have a slip knot on my hook now and I'm just gonna chain four. Two, three, four. Now, when I have those four chains on my hook, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip stitch the first chain to the fourth chain. Now remember this loop on our hook never counts because it's our working loop. So I'm gonna go into this first chain I made, so the chain right up against the slip knot. Okay. I'm going to yarn over and I'm gonna pull through everything. That's it. That's the first way to start out your projects in a circle. Now I will say when you start out your projects this way that the circle doesn't always close up super duper tight. It, it tends to leave a little bit of a gap, but it's not a deal breaker. It's something that you can definitely work with. And then if you're making something like a hat or if you're doing something like a stuffed animal, you can sew this closed when you're um, weaving in ends. So that's the first way to do it. Now I will say when you are um, reading patterns, Sometimes it'll say like, uh, depending on if it'll say like, um, create a magic loop or, you know, create a magic knot or create a magic circle or create a circle with, you know, four chains or what have you. But then it'll say something like now double crochet 12 into the same space. And you're like, what is the same space? Now what they mean when they say the same space is they mean the inside of the circle that you just created. So you just created a circle of chains so the very middle of it and for those who can see i have my finger sticking out of that circle so that you can um see it uh but that's what they mean when they say you know go into the same space um because i i used to find that confusing and that made for some very interesting hats uh but okay so the second way to do this I used to think was really hard, but then I found this video on YouTube today and the way this lady explained it just blew my mind. Um, so I'm going to try to explain it to you guys here. Um, before when you would do a magic ring, you had to like wrap the yarn around your fingers and then you had to put your hook over one loop and then under the other loop and then pull it through and then twist it and then chain one. And it was a little bit confusing um, especially because when I learned I had to learn from a few different videos because some of them would be descriptive in like two out of the four steps or one out of the three steps or what have you so I had to kind of piece it together um, so but this lady was super descriptive and I got I learned it really quickly so I wanted to share that with y'all so okay so I'm leaving a tail of about five inches okay and the tail is going the yarn is going to be sitting on the inside of my left hand not at the tail end but up at like the five inch mark okay so that's sitting on the inside of my left hand what I'm gonna do is take the working end of that yarn so the yarn attached to your ball of yarn and I'm going to lay it over my left index finger okay just one strand closer to the top of your finger just lay in there now what I'm gonna do is so the working loop, because I have the yarn laying on the back of my finger, the working yarn is kind of hanging down towards the table. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up that yarn and I'm gonna bring it over the yarn that's on my index finger already, but I'm gonna do it at an angle. So I'm pointing this yarn towards my middle finger knuckle. Don't do it extremely, but you're doing it at an angle so that it creates a print letter X, okay? Once that print letter X is created, you're gonna hold the yarn tight, not death grip tight, but tight, with your thumb and middle finger on the inside of your hand. So on the back of your index finger, you have your X. That's what you should have. And um, now, what you're gonna do is essentially you're going to put so if the x has four legs or points what have you um you are going to put your and sorry the top of the x 
is closest to your ring finger and the bottom of the X is closest to like where your thumb is. You are going to put your hook under the top right leg of the X. So your hook is facing down and the back of your hook is under that top right leg of your X. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull your hook down toward, uh, away from your index finger, like past your index finger, I should say. And while you're pulling your hook down, down, you're gonna hook that top left leg of the X and bring it under the right one, okay? Now, once you have that done, you wanna pull your finger out and then you wanna grab your working loop and be careful not to do this with your tail. All you wanna do is grab your working yarn and chain one. Now, pull your chain tight and you have a magic circle. And mine's really tight. Um, there we go. So this is your magic circle. So then you would crochet into this space where my finger is. Okay, so let's try this again. So I'm going to leave that tail. And then the yarn I'm going to, so with the tail um, about four or five inches down, uh, on the inside of my left hand is where I'm going to keep the yarn. And at that five inch mark or four inch marker, wherever you decide that your tail is going to be, um, no shorter than four inches though. But wherever your tail is going to, um, you're going to, wherever you decide you're going to place your magic ring, you want to have that, the yarn, the working yarn draped over your index finger so that it's, then it's hanging down between your index and middle finger. Then all you're going to do is you're going to bring it up and over the back of your index finger and you want to make an X with that with that yarn. So be intentional about kind of angling it and you want to have created an X. Now hold the yarn still with your thumb and ring fingers on the inside of your hand. And then so on the back of your hand, all you have on the index finger is the X. That's all that you should have. Now grab our hook. We put our hook facing down, facing the table, but you want it to go under the top right leg of the X, it's going to be the uh, top leg closest to your fingernail. And then you want to hook the top left. So this right here, if you can see, it's the top left leg of the X. I'm hooking it and bringing it with me under that first leg that we went that we went under, if that makes sense. So you're just going through um, picking up this yarn and bringing it back through is what essentially what you're doing. All right, let me try again. Um, this does take a little bit because like for me, sometimes if I'm holding it too tight, it falls apart, but that's okay. That's what starting over is all about, right? Okay, once you have that yarn hooked, you take your finger out of the X that you had. You wanna grab your working yarn, now make sure it's the working yarn, and then you wanna chain one. Now that you've chained one, you can tighten up that chain a little bit and now you'll see that you're left with a circle. Like, uh, so there's the chain one and then right next to the chain one, there's kind of an open circle. That's what you wanna crochet into. And then this pulls really, really tight once you're done crocheting into it so that um, you can't really see it when you, when you pull it tight. And the way you would pull it tight is using your tail end of the yarn. So um, your pattern will tell you to, let's say, single crochet six into this. So you would sing, single crochet six, and you would still say like, oh, this hole is still pretty big. You can just tighten it by pulling on the tail end of your yarn. So that's it. That's how you start out projects in the round. Um, thank y'all for watching. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to send me a message on YouTube or email me at dmadecrochet at gmail.com. Thanks, guys.